Well, look at them all spread out. They go in search of their own piece of real estate. They bump and grind and push and shove. And now they've got to come all back together again. Oh! One, two, one. Jason Bright over and over and up and into the wall. Oh. That started with You're Slade right, down the inside. I'm trying to just uh, give us a radio call if you're there, Brody. Huge damage to car 16 of Scott Pye again. Yep. Yeah. The electronics in the car shut down. Here's the replay. This will give us some explanations. We'll try to come in together. So it's Tim Slade leans on the Holden Racing Team car, which just sends Team BOC Commodore flipping into the air. This was what happened. They all fanned out and then they all came back in and it was never going to work. Van Gisbergen and Kelly get through and then watch car 47 just pushes across and it doesn't take much for Garth Tander just to lean on the front left-hand side of Jason Bright. Oof. It's that secondary impact that's the worry there with the wall and it got right up on the top of the debris fence. This is Lee Holdsworth's view. Oh, that was the big crunch that he... OK, so he got hit by Scott Pye and a few others. The contact actually started with the two Red Bull cars. They actually made contact on the way in there also. There's Slade down the inside. He makes contact with Tanda. Tanda makes contact with Bright. Totally out on the slide. Full opposite lock, so he's trying to steer it down. So Jason's trying to make sure it doesn't turn onto its roof. It then catches the curb, and the curb then trips it over. So as it gets to that point there, it was always going to turn over. Yeah. Must have picked up the front right wheel of Tander's car in order to be able to do that launch, and Tander's in the pit lane and has been there for a while now as well, so it'd be pretty fair old damage on that. It's this next whack with the wall. All this stuff looks spectacular, but at that stage... Yes, it's not a crazy amount of damage. It's this next one where it hits the concrete wall. His tyre protected and then gets into the debris fence where they're going to have a big nightmare trying to resolve getting this car back in shape. Well, fortunately, where the, where the massive load has actually taken place in terms of the final part of the crash, Neil, it was actually against the tyres there. That's taken some load away from that. And that's a tonne and a half. Yeah. That's a tonne and a half in the air there. It's just been tossed around like a toy car. Well, I'm in the garage with Brad Jones, and Brad, no team is more of a family than yours, and just collectively...